So it's the morning after the, the Irish wedding, the 50th wedding anniversary. Um, we're on our way to Ross Castle now. Uh, we slept in the camper and uh, it's uh, going to be a bit of a long journey still. we got another two hours in front of us. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be better about context because a lot of people are complaining that we don't have enough context in our videos. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to do that. <laughs> um, let's see. We just finished up our Wild Atlantic Way road trip. Uh, we have a lot of a lot of nice drone footage and pictures from that. Um, now we're heading to our last castle, which kind of ends off our week of castles. And uh, yeah, after this, we're going to be well. The plan was to head back to Dublin because uh, we have to return the camper van for a few days, and then we wanted to stay in Dublin for St. Paddy's Day, but. Uh, we can't find anywhere to stay in this. Anywhere, not even close to Dublin. Not even like take the dart for an hour and there's nowhere. Not unless we want to spend a, our entire Europe budget on just those five days. So we spent uh, we spent a few days now looking. Um, had a lot of trouble and last night we we couldn't find anything. Uh, it's not for three people. So looks like at this point we're going to be branching off for those couple days. Me and Alfred are going to be in Limerick. Um, I think David is going to Londonderry to meet a girl. The, the first of any of us to actually meet a girl on this trip. <laughs> yeah, I already did. Sort of. Are you, that sounds, are you, going, to, are you going to tell us about it? The people at home are curious. Uh, just, no, just the local. Okay. Suggestions of places to go. Uh -huh. There's a nice bar, the Franciscan Well Bar. Uh, local craft brew beer. Nice atmosphere to it. Cool. But yeah, so that's what's that's what's happening now. So to all of you who say there's not enough context in the video, here's your context. Oh. See you at Ross Castle. So, as I was saying, there's a secret bookshelf here, and this is it. You can't even know what's through here. Unless you know the secret. The store handle opens. And that happens. Let there be light. So my name is Richard, Richard Moore, and uh, I live in County Cavan in Ireland. And we're here in Ross Castle, which was built Approximately 500 years ago, Ross Castle would have been built as a defensive, strategic military building placed on the landscape, very much as a, um, a statement of Anglo-Norman rule in its day. So building a castle on the edge of the pale, as this was known as the edge of the pale, because beyond the pale, the Anglo-Norman rule didn't exist. And you had the O'Reilly family, the far side of the lake, and they refused to be subjugated by the Anglo-Normans. And you had this kind of interface, and this would have been the interface between the Anglo-Normans and the O'Reillys. So the castle was built by Richard Nugent, who was the 11th Baron of Delvin. And if you think in 1520, the 11th Baron of Delvin was already the 11th Baron. That will kind of give you some context that 500 years ago, he was the, the 11th Baron. Um, so this family of the Nugents had been well established in the, in, the, in the area, in the neighborhood. 
He died shortly after building the castle, and we know that his grandson inherited the castle, who was also Richard Nugent. Um, Richard Nugent married quite young. She bore him, his wife, Lady Nangle, bore him his first child, her first daughter, um, and that child was called Sabina. You had the 13th Baron of Delvin, you had his daughter, Sabina, and Sabina apparently fell in love with the Chieftain O'Reilly's son, Orwin O'Reilly, which would have been an utterly forbidden love affair because you had two families that were diametrically opposed in politics and in every context, they were, they were totally different. In fact, there was the Kilkenny Act, which prevented Anglo-Norman families from, from marrying into the Irish families. So there was, it was political dynamite for uh, Sabina to be fraternizing with Orwin O'Reilly. The, the, the legend or the story goes that um, Sabina's mum was going to try and get Orwin and Sabina out of the country and they were going to cross the lake to be picked up by a carriage the far side of the lake, probably in Finay. The boat that they were traveling in overturned in a small squall or a storm. Orwin was killed in, in that accident. Sabina was badly hurt. She was brought back to the castle and died very shortly after that. Some say a, a, as a result of a broken heart. Um, who knows? Okay, so here we're at Ross Castle. It's managed by Richard and Jackie. This castle is, is unique in its way. It's, it's, it's a B&B. &B. So we got here. Jackie was kind enough. She made us supper. Um, it was really good. But um, during the dinner, there's three other people that were coming from America. And we we're talking to them. They stayed here last year also, and they said they saw a ghost. Not kind of saw a ghost, but they were up in one of the rooms. The, um, the husband closed the door, and then he heard, he heard the door close. And then he also heard the door open again and just open up. And I was like, what? But then we were talking, and Ryan, as the nut job he is, he started going in even more, talking about some instruments, and then the husband was like, yeah, I also have some of the instruments here. So Ryan, Ryan went, oh, whack job, X-File, me, X-File here on here. He's like, we got a record, we got cameras, we got GoPros, we got gimbals, we got mics, we got everything. You got your instrument, we're going to find some ghosts tonight. And I'm like... I don't want to be possessed tonight. I prefer not to be possessed before I sleep. That's a rule of thumb for me. Don't be possessed before you sleep. But anyways, we're going to be on ghost hunting. So it's going to be pretty cool. Pretty scary. And I already have my priest on speed dial. So that's going to be good. All right. Uh, my name is AJ Reardon. My wife, Crystal Reardon. We're at Ross Castle in County Meath in Ireland. We're going to be ghost hunting tonight. We'll be walking around. This is a known um, haunted castle. We were here a year ago. It is uh, the 15th of March, 2017. We were here a year ago and had a small ghost encounter. We're hoping to find something like that again. We have with us an REM meter, a good friend of ours, Shelley Winslow, Winslow from Chesapeake, Virginia, which is where we're from, led this to us for the evening. Um, and we're gonna go hunt some ghosts. Sabina, are you here? Are you in the room with us? Were you here a year ago? Do you know it's time? Sabina, open the door for me again. Open the door. A lot of people don't believe you're real, Sabina. Why don't you prove us wrong? Sabina, are you here? Can you touch me? Are you touching me? Oh, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs>
Let's meet over here, thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome to Savina's room, guys. <laughs> Holy cow. David, try opening it without turning the knob. Okay, now it's the open, yeah, I'm out of here. Alright, we just finished the ghost hunt. We'll see you in the morning. Um, if we see you in the morning. Mostly because I touched a doll, so from all the horror movies I've seen, you don't touch weird things, you get possessed. Actually, that's true. We're gonna leave the camera in our room now. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. It's the uh, just crawling up the walls. Uh, sign off. Uh, I do that on a regular basis, anyways. I'm a crawler, what can I say? Or a prowler. Okay, but my eyes are tired, guys. This is the correct pronunciation. Alright, do the, do the pump thing. Alright, All right, guys, so we're gonna see you in the morning if we make it later.